Hello guys and welcome back to Today We Read. This is episode two. Today we are going to be reading The Bernstein Bears Visit Big Bear City by Mike Bernstein. A dog kind of bit a little bit of it. So, here we go. One fine morning deep in bear country, something big was about to happen. The bear family was going on a trip to visit Uncle Bob and Aunt Gwen in Big Bear City. As they neared the airport, a huge jet zoomed over. That's a Bear Bus 2000, said brother. Wow, said sister. It's humongous. My, my, said mama. This was the family's first trip to the big city. Things would be very different from their quiet corner of bear country. In fact, things got different right away, as soon as they boarded the plane. Sister looked around at what seemed like a big room full of seats. It looked a little like a movie theater. Where's the plane? she asked. This is the plane, sweetie, said Mama. We're inside. Wow, said Sister. It's humongous. The plane took off and quickly climbed. It flew high above the clouds. Brother looked at the window uneasily. What keeps it up? he wondered. It's quite simple, said Papa folding his napkin into a paper plane. You see, the angle of attack and the airflow increases pressure under the air for a while. That's okay, said brother. I think I'll get it. Anytime, son, said Papa, pleased. After many hours, the plane landed safely at Big Bear Airport. As they left the terminal, Uncle Bob was waiting for them. Welcome to Big Bear City, he called. Uncle Bob, said Mama, so good to see you. Warm bear hugs were shared all around. With luggage stowed, Uncle Bob whisked them away. The tall buildings of Big Bear City lo loomed up ahead. Wow, said Sister, they're ginormous. Oh my, said Mama. They drove across a long bridge with tall towers. This is the famous Brooklyn Bear Bridge, said Uncle Bob. It's one of the longest bridges in bear country. You know, a fellow once tried to sell me this bridge, said Papa. He said it was steel. Uncle Bob laughed. That's an old trick. That's an old trick city folks play on country folks. I hope you didn't fall for it. No, said Mama. I talked them out of it. Yes, dear, said Papa, grinning. Uncle Bob pulled up in front of an apartment building. A bear in a fancy uniform helped him out. Is he in the army or something, wonder brother? No, said Uncle Bob. He's just our door bear. We'll take the subway, he said. What's a subway? Asked sister. It's a train that runs underground, explained Uncle Bob. Oh boy, said brother. He loved trains of any kind, underground or not. Aunt Gwen came down to greet them. They were there were so many bear hugs. We're so happy you can you can um, visit us," said Aunt Gwen, showing them upstairs. After they had settled in, Uncle Bob suggested they go sightseeing. They went down steep. They went down steep steps to a railroad to a railway station underground. There were places to eat and shop down there. Soon the subway train came in and they got aboard. It was very crowded. Hold tight, said Aunt Gwen, as they sped away. My goodness, said Mama. They came out of the subway into a bustling city scene. There were huge signs of flashing lights. There were cars and, and buses. There were street musicians playing drums and saxophones. Goodness gracious, said Mama. What a crowd. This is Bear Times Square, said Uncle Bob. It's the biggest place in Big Bear City. I can believe it, said Mama. The bear, family, the bear family made their way through the crowds to a wide and grassy park. There were flowers and fountains. There were cool ponds and shady trees. Ah, said Papa. That, this, is, this is a bit like home. This is the most peaceful place in Big Bear City, said Aunt Gwen. I can believe it, said Mama. They all climbed into a horse-drawn carriage for a ride around the park. The ride took them to the foot of a very tall building. The bear family gawked, walked up, up at it. It seemed, it seemed to scrape the sky. This is the Empire Bear Building, said Uncle Bob. It's one of the tallest buildings in bear country. We can go to the top to enjoy the view. My word, said Mama, looking up. 
High in the observation deck, they could see miles and miles. There's the Statue of Liberty. There's a Statue of Liberty on her island in the harbor, said Uncle Bob. She welcomes all who come to bear country seeking a new, better life. The bear family gazed in awe at this symbol of freedom for bears everywhere. Gosh, said Papa, a tear in his eye. Later, the visiting bears strolled down Bear Way. Dozens of theaters were putting on shows. I had tickets for the famous musical. Let's Miss Bear Bearbellis, said Uncle Bob. I've always wanted to see that, said Mama happily. The show was spectacular. A huge cast sang and danced our hearts out for hours. The Bear family was very happy, but very exhausted. They slept as soundly as only tri tired bears can. What was that all about, wondered Brother, when it was over? Search me, said Papa, but I love those songs. He whistled the tune from the, sh from the show as he danced his way down the aisle. Oh, okay, it was supposed to be, I was supposed to read this first. So, just pretend I read that first. The Bear family had a wonderful time in Big Bear City, but all too soon it was time to go home. Uncle Bob and Aunt Gwen saw them off the airport with many other bear hugs. You know, said Papa, as they leaned their way back across Bear Country, Big Bear City is a wonderful place to visit, but after all, there's no place like home. And the rest of the family agreed with them. The end. That was today we read episode two, The Bear City Bears Visit Big Bear City by 